All right, Dave from Audio Hertz, and I'm back with another quick tip. And today, I wanted to talk about something that I don't think is emphasized enough with engineers and producers, especially ones that are just starting out. And that's how adding subtle movement to your tracks is really going to affect the feel of your of your song or your track, and how that's going to ultimately make it more interesting and make people want to listen to it more. And it's going to uh, make them move the way you want them to move. Uh, so let me show you a trick I used for the track, uh, a track called Klondike. I made it for the YouTube audio library it's free to use if you want to check it out i'm going to put a link to that down below uh, so the track has a main reversed bell loop that already has a kind of swelling rhythmic element to it and i what i did was i used the waves one knob pumper uh to kind of enhance the rhythm that's already there in the loop and the one knob pumper is just an lfo uh that have, affects the volume and you can set it to whatever timing you want and so let's listen to the loop by itself I'm going to solo it and then I'm going to bypass the one knob pumper so you can kind of hear what it's doing So you can hear how it's adding life to the loop. It's uh, enhancing the swelling that's already happening in the original loop uh, when it's bypassed. And that's really affecting how the track feels overall. So now I'm going to play it uh, with everything going and you can hear how it's affecting the mix, uh, the mix entirely. You can hear uh, it's really subtle, but it does, you miss it when it's gone, and it does really affect the feel of the entire track, and uh, I, 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 I gotta say, it doesn't sound good without it, so try some of that stuff where you're adding subtle movement with your dynamic processors. It could be with a compressor where you're uh, side-chaining something to the compressor, and it's ducking uh, the volume of whatever track. Uh, give that a try, and uh, yeah, let me know what you think. As always, like, comment, subscribe down below, and uh, I'll see you all next time.